Well, hello there. I am Jennifer Gonzalez. I am the person behind the website Cult of Pedagogy. And about 10 years ago, I created something called the Teacher's Guide to Tech in response to a lot of people in my audience saying that they were overwhelmed by technology and that they wanted to get a hold of tech, but they didn't have time to do the research. So I said, let me organize all the tools for you, explain what everything is, put them into categories, give you links to the site, and make it all really quick and clear for you. That was a PDF. For about 10 years, we made that as a PDF. This year, we are taking that whole process and putting it onto a web-based site that is going to be updated all year round. It's gonna be a subscription model. Instead of you just buying a PDF and having that file, you will then just have access to an online version of it. So anywhere that you have the internet, you can jump on it. Um, why we're doing it this way? One of the reasons is that every year we were spending a ton of time in November and December updating it. And it took so much time trying to get that one document as current as possible to release it in January. And that was just way too much pressure. And also just a lot of the ways that we built that PDF were very time consuming. And we realized that if we did it online, we would be able to update it all year round. So the links that would sort of die out in the older version, that wouldn't happen on the web version. They might be broken for a couple of days or weeks and then we would be able to fix them. So the web version is gonna be freshly updated all the time. Also, we've always had a problem with the PDF being inaccessible for anyone with disabilities. It was not good for screen readers. It wasn't good for um, all of those accessibility tools. I just couldn't figure out how to get all of that done. With a web-based version, a lot of those problems are just gonna go away because we're doing it through an online website tool that's gonna just do all of that for us. So, the new version has all the same information as the old one. It's just that now there won't be a fresh update every January. The updates will be happening all year round and you just decide when you wanna have access to it and when you wanna stop. So we're gonna continue to expand the tools. There are over 750 tools in the guide right now. They're still broken up into all of these separate categories. So you can now just click around and look at all the categories. We still have a very big tip section with articles that help you think through the way that you use technology. And we'll just continue to add to those. Uh, we're gonna have a section where you can go to see what has been updated. And we'll just put posts there as we add updates, as we add tools, as we take things away. So that if you wanna see what has changed in recent weeks or months, you can go there and look. So I really hope that you enjoy it. My team is really excited about this new change because it's gonna really change our workflow and our ability to provide you with fresh updated information about the tech that you use in your classroom all year round.